ball today. She's living her best life. Look at her over there. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> Can nobody tell me nothing? <laughs> Damn. I got my I got my nails. So how yeah. about okay, now let's <laughs> go. Uh, <laughs> you can't have your, oh, can't have your yeah. by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Yes. Oh, my oh, hair yeah. and everything. Here we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> a little something just to throw it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey aunties, it's O'Day, owner of Casco. What's brewing today? Introducing Auntie Sakara. Ask your aunties, he got a dirty hole. And O'Day or no way. So get your cups ready for minority report. Hello, hello, ladies. Hey, y'all. Hello. Hello. Oh, right, you know. Hey, community. Just, <laughs> Just had to throw something. this on. A little something. Uh, <laughs> so, well, let let me, this something. is a YouTube let episode. Me, this show. is a YouTube episode. Y'all need to watch just, this for sure on YouTube. Yes, it is, honey. Let me just tell the community real quick because she is not in her normal location and <laughs> everybody else are tuning in from their home and they got hair. Yes. And you know, Auntie Chardonnay is usually the one that has the hair, but she's ball-headed today, girl. Oh, she's ball, ball-headed, scaly okay. She got that right. cat can, honey. Right. She gave me, right. she right, gave you she that, that Tiffany Haddish. She got that cat <laughs> can, though. Right, she got that cat can. Come on, yeah. now. She bought that one of us. And community, so if you hear a fourth voice, we have a very special episode today. We have the owner of Kafco. With us today. Uh, <laughs> so that's why we're saying you need to watch this on YouTube because we all have our caftans on, darling. Mm. <laughs> yes. uh, darling. Darling. It's, oh, ooh, give us a little shoulder. Damn. Yes, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, so before we even get to like the story of it, what is your auntie name, by the way? Auntie Shakara, <laughs> which is my alter, alter ego. Yes, I have an alter ego, and my last name is Shakar, but I love to belly dance. So when I'm in the club, <laughs> when I'm in the club, all my friends call me Shakara because they're like, oh, she's out tonight. Okay. Uh, wow. it's <laughs> I know that's right. Love. Yeah. Yeah. We got no clubs no more, but you know the ego's still there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Love yeah. It, love it. And you just recently moved to Chicago, by the way, too. I did <laughs> just move to Chicago, and I'm very happy about the decision. It's been wonderful year. Oh man, I miss it. How was your like transition? Art? How was your oh so? Just so that you know, we there's Chicago roots here. Oh yes. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I used to live in Chicago. Corel used to live in Chicago. Well, Jarrell was. I Chicago. vacationed. He's, he's, <laughs> Vacation in Chicago. Yeah, Jarrell is is Chicago adjacent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how By was injection. your transition? You know, when I left New York City, it was not in the best state. So and like we were just so confined to our homes, and like things finally just started opening up, but like in Chicago, things were much better. So the transition, the move was very, very seamless for me. I also had someone here that I was coming to be with. So I know just, that's right. Oh. Yeah, it is. <laughs> she said I was booked and busy. <laughs> I was like, listen. <laughs> uh, but no, it's been great. I love it Come here. Come on now, traveling what? Uh, that's what, uh, 900 miles for love? That's yes, weird. honey. Yes. But it, it all worked out, you know, with, with Casco, I needed more space and New York's so expensive. And, yeah. and so I just was able to like improve my, my way of living, but also like, yeah. My personal life has gotten much better as well. Two cars, one stone. Awesome. Well, okay, congratulations. Man. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm feeling yeah. Feeling yes. uh, love it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, so community, I'm sure you've seen like the ads, you've seen people in them, you've seen Billy Porter in them, you've seen. And if you wait, you will Jarell after this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kafko, 
yeah. how did this start in a pandemic? Because literally that's when I started seeing it and I was like, I need to get yeah. this in my life ASAP. <laughs> yes, it, well, it's kind of crazy. Um, so my boyfriend at the time, we were in Fire Island a year prior and we had come up with the idea because we kept seeing guys um, in Fire Island wearing caftans and we we're like, oh, honey, that's not cute. Like, that's just not the look. Like, we were like, we, we personally wanted to wear caftans, but the stuff that you find out there either on Amazon or, or in vintage stores were just not made the way I wanted to look in the caftan. So I was Wait, like, and I'll this, just and what make was that, that initial look? What what did you want it to look like? <laughs> For me, I wanted modern prints. I wanted a low cut V. I yes. wanted like all cut the in the right thigh. area, the high, the high thigh. thigh. Like yes. I wanted That's it to be sheer. Like and I really was making them for me and him. And when we got the samples, it was like three weeks into quarantine. I was in New York City. He was in Chicago. And he had already moved, but we were still talking every day. And we just basically, I sent him one sample. I had the other. And when we put them on, we were immediately like, this is making us feel so much better because we literally were both kind of in a little bit of, in a, you know, a place of quarantine, not seeing anyone, all the different vibes of like what the world was going through. And it just immediately lifted my spirits. So I was like twirling in my living room, <laughs> uh, Beyonce on, Shakira on, whatever. I was yeah. dancing around and I was just like, this is great. I was like, so I called my business partners and was like, we have to launch this. And like, we came up with the name and they were like, are you crazy? We're in the middle of a pandemic. Like, how are we going to do this right now? And I was like, I don't know, but we just should do it. Let's just test it, blah, blah, blah. And we did. And it just took a total life of its own and and it's it's wild i mean here we are six months later and we've we've been so lucky with just the amount of success we've had and the love we get from everyone is basically the best part because we get to see all these people being happy living their best lives you know being creative in whatever way they want to wear it how they want to wear it with a wig with heels with now whatever and it just it for me it just felt so fluid and for the first time i was like yeah so i was like this is what it's about i, I came from a world of couture which was just very uptight this right. is not yeah. not the world i was used to when it comes to fashion and like yeah it's just been amazing you know really like you know when you go to brunch with your girls and you just yeah. can't help but kiki every time i put this on that is the feeling i get <laughs> yeah. every time i put this yeah. on i just i just feel like i am just Coming out of my shell, I'm like, bitch, what? Yeah, <laughs> what are we doing? Look, look, look. She's yeah. just ready to go. And, yeah. if I, and if I'm being 100 percent honest, so when I first saw the Capcom for Capco um, online, it was on Instagram. Yeah. And Instagram has got my money twice before. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh fuck. Right. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? I was like, this is really cute. I think I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. And then sure enough, it actually came to my address. I said, oh, <laughs> Oh, this is real. I was like, okay. Bitch, I literally put it on that first day, like right out of the package. I put it on. I was like, and we're back on ordering another one. Like, right away. <laughs> I love that. Well, and it, it's so great when you see like groups of friends doing it together and like everyone, it becomes like almost like a, like a, an activity, right? So mm -hmm. it's like, get your friends together, wear your caftans, drink your mimosas. And like Billy Porter said, and I, he, he said it the best. He goes, the freedom, darling, the freedom. So and I was like, when he said that, I was like, yes, honey, yes. <laughs> because that is the feeling, right? Yes. It's a sense of freedom. And I think we all deserve that, like, especially cooped up in our homes and whatnot. We needed that sense of freedom in this state of the world with our, you know, election that was making us all extremely stressed out, like all of it, right? It just, it was a lot to deal with this year. I think the interesting thing we we just in our last week's episode we had um you know a, a guest on and we were talking about fashion and talking mm -hmm. about the lack of options for men. Yes, there are yeah. kind of traditional you, you know your shirts, your pants, course, your yeah. whatever. But I think the thing that's really interesting about this is it opens up a whole new world. I mean, we're talking about resort wear, right? Yeah. Which is fun, yeah. it's frivolous, yeah. it's luxury, right. it's loose, it's it's all of those things and yeah. and it, it can be all of those things and it can be none of those things, you know, yeah. but 
what's interesting is that this is giving a lot of us gabies a lot of um, new things of considering like how are we going to you know accessorize and dress for yeah. you know those those, those trips moments. down south or, yeah. or you know just trips around your apartment and just <laughs> being good or like the zoom calls that you know that yeah. we're having. It, it does give an element of um, just um, interest to those yeah. everyday moments, which is kind of cool. It almost makes like what you're already doing more exciting, right? So it's like, if you're going on that trip and it's like, it just brightens everything up a bit. And like, for me, I've always been asked as a designer, I've always had these like big time um, consultants come into my brand and ask me like, who's your girl? Where is she going? And like with this, it was like, it's not about who it is. It's about what, how it makes you feel. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I've always been told is like, how does your personality reflect your clothes? And I've never really been able to say it has other than it like comes, there's been a influence of my culture, but like with this, I feel like it's just joyful. Mm -hmm. And like, that's my personality. I like to make people happy. Mm -hmm. I'm most of the time a pretty joyful person. I like to spread joy amongst others. So it was like, the fact that it was making, I was seeing so many reactions to how it was making other people feel. And I'm talking of people of all sizes, people of yeah. all genders, yes. people of all ages. Um, you know, we have a large female clientele, but we also have our main clientele is male. And it's not all gay, but it's majority gay men, but we have every body type you could imagine. And that just makes me so happy because I'm like, also the fact we don't use models, Everyone sees our ads. They think we're hiring models. I'm like, these aren't models. These are well, let's people. Well, let's be all the way real. You guys are very handsome men. <laughs> well, thank you. I have some good looking friends. I'll He's tell like, you. We're that. not models, but you guys are really good. <laughs> 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 that's, like, that's like Naomi Campbell. Like, oh, we, don't, we don't hire models, but all of her friends. Right. Well, all my friends just look fucking hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know i will say honestly when i when i saw your brand on instagram and i scroll through the page and you know at that point you were the primary model of, yes. of everything so there was you in your brooklyn apartment you know on your east village um, but yes, <laughs> yes, yes like, in your east village apartment you know yes. on the on the on patio the fire escape. yes i just I really so appreciate it, the the spirit of body positivity. Yes. Yes. And mm -hmm. and the the freedom that no matter what you look like, and you don't have to look like a certain thing, if yeah. you're feeling yourself and you can feel yourself in one of these, yeah. put it on, wear it, and let everybody feel it for you. I have to tell you, I mean, being like when I was doing couture and runway shows, we when I did New York Fashion Week, every single season I was – not eating, trying to lose as much possible weight as possible because I was so nervous about coming out at the end of the runway and being photographed yeah. and how big I was going to look and how fat I was going to look. And, and at a certain point in my life, I transitioned into feeling good about being bigger and us actually growing bigger with weightlifting and different things and stopping this attitude of like, starving myself or trying to be skinny mm -hmm. and it changed my life. But when I never imagined myself sitting on a fire escape in, in a, in a cap tan and a speedo taking <laughs> photographs during a pandemic and modeling it. But when I put it on, I did feel confident. So I was like, okay, it's covering up all the right parts. Like I don't right. feel completely <laughs> revealed, but I feel like all my good assets are out. And I was just like, <laughs> okay, like I'm good with this. And you know, it was, it was crazy because I'd never imagined like, I'd get such a reaction from people. I got so many messages from boys who would be like, it is so refreshing to see somebody of your, you know, body type in these kind of advertisements. I'm like, well, I really had no other choice. But the fact is it did make a lot of people feel like, yeah. okay, that's great. Like we don't need to see some six pack guy wearing, you know, wearing a caftan. Like that's not what it's about, right? Um, so yeah, it was, it was wonderful. And I honestly, like, I would never change a thing. Like that fire escape will forever be a memory in my, oh, in yeah. my career. And I turned that fire escape out. Oh, I got Bitch, yes. from Amazon. <laughs> I got plants from Home Depot. I was like, <laughs> let me turn this out, you know? Um, but it was, it was definitely the beginning of something really beautiful. And, uh, honestly, I've never felt more connected with designing like this because it's like, 
the cap the 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 caption is kind of like my canvas. I just create these prints and and different vibes and different feelings that I'm I'm thinking of or imagining, and it just kind of took a world of its own. So and it's also like culturally relevant for you as well. Yeah. Because I'm, like, yes, it, I mean, it was my husband that showed me the the IG page actually, and my right. husband's half Lebanese, and he's like, "Oh, you yeah. see these captains?" So like he already wore a captain, but it's like a brown one, and it's kind of you know yeah. dowdy. But he loves it just because his mom gave it to him. So like just right. it, it means yeah, something the to connection him. And to exactly. That. Yeah. But when he saw these, he's like, "Bitch!" Like, <laughs> like half like my heritage, and then yes. being a gay man, the mom, and I yes. the, Ma oh I blended God. those two. Up. And like my first experience wearing anything like this, so I was 12 years old and I was sent from California to Baghdad. And I would wear, I would, at the time I had red Doc Martens and like was wearing like Led Zeppelin vintage t-shirts and I had like dyed hair. And when I got there, my <laughs> uncle was like, oh no, no, no. Like <laughs> you can't dress like this in the streets. You're going to get, someone's going to attack you. Someone's going to do something because they're going to know you're American immediately. So he put me in what we call a diz dash and it's basically a long yeah, yeah. tunic yes. to the floor. Yes. And I was like, Oh girl, I get a dress. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, this is, I was like, what? I was like, this is amazing. You're right? the best uncle <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was so excited. So, I mean, yeah, it kind of came full circle, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, thank you, Uncle. I be, love you. Yes, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> this will be one of those pieces that if I ever travel anywhere warm and I'm like dying, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be, it's going to forever be in the suitcase. You like, oh, you yeah. know, yeah. like you, everyone has something like whenever you go to a certain place, you always take that. This is one of them. But yeah. first of all, your girl don't like to be in the sun. Okay, yeah. because she goes from team medium to team too dark real quick. <laughs> like, in a day. Like, for real. Not too dark. Oh my yes. god. Oh, look, I'm talking about like only eyes and, and teeth can you see in pictures, okay? You better rock it, bitch. <laughs> yes. Like, egg, 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 well, you guys haven't like, tried on the cozy yet, but I'm wearing, this is one of the cozy originals. It's got a, a hood on her. And she's got a little tag on you to protect yes, her from the sun. <laughs> yeah. No, but this one is great for the winter time or, or even fall. Like it's just it's like that onesie material. It's just stretchy uh, and nice. it's got pockets. So you can kind of I'll curl be at up the in side it. of the pool with a hoodie on sometimes. <laughs> I don't like the sign. Yeah, I, oh I kid y'all not. Like I kid y'all not. I have a friend like that. Mm -mm. And me mm. as as no. Mm -mm. No, I do make this sure girl. I have an umbrella. Because <laughs> 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 more girl than banks. anything, it, it just she be got hot. her traveling fan. Right, it just be hot. <laughs> I mean, you can see I'm like glistening already with this wig right. on. Like, I'm a sweat <laughs> her. I'd be sweating. So I'm like, uh, give me an oh umbrella and this caftan, and I'm good to go, bitch. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm baking. I'm baking, baby. You, <laughs> I'm, like I'm like you. soaking all the sun up. Uh, I'm getting too. all kinds of color. I'm like getting all kinds of glistening, and you can, you can see it sizzle. Same, <laughs> same. So like, uh, where did fashion start for you? Like, how did you get into fashion? Did you always want to do that, or did you kind of stumble into it? Yeah, so I've been drawing my entire life. I was ever since I was a kid. I was bullied a lot as a kid, and I was very feminine as a child. And um, I basically would find like this happy place with drawing, and I'd go into my room and I just sketch. And I had an obsession with drawing women. And then when I was in Baghdad, my aunt had actually studied fashion design in London. She never pursued it as a career, but she studied and trained. And sh she saw my sketchbook one day and was like, "Wow, you know, you're drawing fashion design." And I was like, I don't really know what that means. And she's yeah. like, you're drawing clothes. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm drawing a fantasy. This is like, this isn't real. And she's like, yeah. exactly. It's a fantasy. You're creating a, a mood and a vibe. And look at this as a skirt. And this is a pant. This is, I was like, okay, okay. Well, what, 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 what do I do? And she's like, well, I studied it. So I'm going to teach you everything I know. And I was like, okay, great. And I was so, so intrigued by every aspect of it. Draping, I immediately, she was like, you have like a natural ability for draping. I loved it, the dress form, using fabric, pinning, all that stuff. So I decided at 12 years old, I was gonna be a fashion designer in Baghdad That's and then great. never gave up on that dream. I went to design school in LA and then immediately started working in the field. Um, my first job as a designer was at Von Dutch at the age of 18. And then Von I started- Von Dutch, yes. wow. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 
forgot yes, about Mountain Dutch. <laughs> well, and it's not one of those that I like actually tell people a lot because I'm kind of like, yeah, I kind of whisper it under my, you know. Wait, let me go but, get my Mountain Dutch trucker hat real quick. I know. So yeah, that was me. I worked. I worked for Christian Odege, who also was the owner of Head Artie, and he's mm-hmm. he's passed, but he was he was a he was a handful to work for. Um, but the the denim trucker hat was my fame in the Shut in the company. Up. They yeah, that was my creation <laughs> that made them millions of dollars. That part. <laughs> that yeah, part. which I of course didn't see a penny. I was a young kid, but when I you know, when I realized what I really wanted to do, I, I thought I wanted to do couture and I did it for many years. I started my own brand at two thousand in two thousand nine. And shortly after I started the the brand, I basically was dressing women from socialites to these very, you know, high society ladies. And it just kind of snowballed and they would go to these Neiman Marcus events wearing my creations. And then the Neiman Marcus people were like, why aren't you buying your gowns here? What, who are you buying these from? And they would be like, oh, Dave Shakar, he's this young designer. And so then the buyer of Neiman's contacted me and was like, we heard you're taking a lot of our clients. Like we'd love to meet with you and see your collection. So it kind of started like that. And then we had Sandra Bullock wear our dress. We had a few others like Kelly Clarkson. It just, it just kept going. And then it was about 2014 when I decided I was going to move to New York because I was making all my pieces in New York, but I wasn't living there. So it was a lot to juggle. But as soon as I moved to New York in 2016, there was this huge deep, decline in the industry and people from buyers to yeah. retailers were firing people like crazy because they mm-hmm. they were struggling i think yeah. what covid did was kind of put a pin in all that oh, you know that. it was like all those big retail stores that were pretending like they weren't struggling were now mm-hmm. no longer able to pretend mm-hmm. um that part <laughs> yep so you know and uh, and i i wasn't i wasn't sure if i was being, going to even stay in fashion to be honest with you because it got so difficult and i had to go through so many so many challenges over the years but casco was like a like a blessing that i just didn't even know was coming i didn't even we we called it a passion project we didn't even think of it as a business fully until it was born. Um, and it just kind of makes sense for me. I'm like, I'm, I'm the customer. I don't need right. to ask the girl, what is she wearing? What does she want? Yeah. I, I figure it out for what I want. And then I, I get all my friends to, to tell me what they think and get their opinions. And, and it's just been great. So I'm, I'm happy to continue to be able to design and actually reach a much larger audience of people that I care about deeply i don't you know those one percentile um, that i was making clothes for was not my people (laughs) i'm I'm sure sure you got stories galore (laughs) oh girl you don't even know and the amount of people i had to unfriend during this election too i was like oh oh she is too oh oh she is too i was just i could not i could not but yes it's a totally different world very stuffy and i was always told not to let my personality come out too much. My See. business partners were always like, you need to tone it down. You mm. need to like, you know, dress a certain way, act a certain way. And I was, I was just kind of like caged a little bit. In Especially as like a creative course. type, that's like the most stifling <laughs> thing you can do. It's just like, you're telling me yeah. not to be myself. It which yeah. affects my creativity, which, you know, it's 100. just like, mm, nobody got time yeah. for that. <laughs> and this was just like, I can do whatever I want. My legs yeah. are out. My, and, you know, it just was also just a sense of, like, I didn't care anymore what the industry thinks. Right. And I, I really don't care anymore. Um, and I'm sure if they were to ever, you know, people from the industry were to hear that would take offense to it. But it's not about the industry. I think the fashion industry has really tainted what beauty is. And there are a lot of mean girls in the industry. And I'm not making this for people in the industry's approval. I'm making this for the people and not for anyone else. So, you know, they can say I sold out, they could say whatever they want about me, I don't care. Um, all I care about is I'm making people happy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, anyone who, anyone who uses their own creativity to not only make a living, but um, 
and and are successful at doing that, which is no yeah. easy feat. Let's let's yeah. be clear, because a yeah. lot of these industry folks are working for somebody else. You're working for yourself, so that's a very different kind of thing. Um, yeah. But I think the other part of it is is that you have the opportunity to make an impact specifically in the community. And mm -hmm. just like you said, you know, the, the way that it makes you feel when you put it on, and I will be, I will be the first person to say that the quality is yeah. incredible. The designs are great. Like, it's not like, it's not like this is not like some kind of wish thing where like, oh, you see something <laughs> right. really good on, on is that online. What got you, Jarrell? Yeah. Where's not your girl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know this I mean? little piece of fabric. Right. So like, right. like, here's your hanky. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, You're like, Miss Henry, the captain. <laughs> right. It's just it's so interesting. It's so interesting how everybody wants to be in your business and want you to follow the model, right? Yes. But I think what a lot of people are learning and one of the, the stories that I think you're, you're telling is that when you lean into what makes you happy, right? Mm -hmm. And you pour yeah. all of your, you first recognize what that is. Cause a lot of people yeah. just don't know. A lot of people right. don't know what makes them happy or yeah. what gives them passion, what gives them life. And you were able right. to find a way to monetize against that. And that is a very beautiful thing because that means that that love goes right into your designs, goes right into your, the way that you engage, it goes it's right palpable. into your messaging. Like Absolutely. you just feel it, they, that yeah. energy yeah. like exudes off whatever you're selling then, you know? Yeah, and honestly, like a lot of people don't know, but I like, you know, I, I personally am working on every print. I'm, it's so, it's, it's, to me, it's kind of taken this new world of design where I've taken all the elements that I've learned from over the years, from Von Dutch to Couture, to all these things and like even little details that people may not notice like all the insides are french seams like you guys yes, are <laughs> one overlock stitch like there are just certain things that i put my little touch in and like to me that's it's so much more special because it's like i'm not i'm not focused on like these big collections we used to waste so much money making collections we'd spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to create a 70 piece collection to narrow it down to 35 pieces to then only show 15 pieces and it was just a lot of waste and then like this it's like okay it's just simple it's just you know you it's like you're creating one platform that kind of evolves yeah right? so it went from the original to v2 to now the cozy cozy bear we're doing this which is going to be really exciting for next summer so we'll see yes because I got a speedo on right now. Because I was yeah. like, I want to fantasy. They're like, what do you wear under? And I'm like, well, I'm going to give you something. So, Bitch, so, now that's yeah. fucking cute. I need oh, are you going to yeah. make that I need one in her. a speedo? Yeah, yeah this I want is that in a speedo, speedo too. I have right here. Yeah. You know, see, she got the toy right now. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> community, you need to be so, watching on YouTube, community. If you're not watching, uh, I know. And you know, it's funny because we kept talking about this, and we were like, "Oh, it can't be the same print. It's got to be a complementary no. print." Mm -hmm. But then we tried that, and it did not it work. Don't work. No. And then what we realized is that it's a reveal, honey. Right? Yes. You, you're wearing that cat, and yes. you take it off, and you're like. Yes. I got the same print down here. So you're like, yes. Yes, that was the hardest thing in work. Palm Springs, which was yeah. like when I would wear you, one, I'm like, what What am I going to wear underneath? Where, like, underneath. I was right, trying to right. figure out, like, all right, well, I'm going to wear the black And then you try to find this. something, cut someone back. One request, though, yeah. on a Speedo, though, and this is yes. hard in the gay community. If you have a butt, it's hard to find good so, Speedos. <laughs> honey, I got a butt. Okay. And, yes. and that was one of the first things I can never find find a speedo that fits me well it's the worst they're always too thin yeah. so i made these for thick boys it's a little bit of a thicker Here cut from. so yes well okay. i mean i have a, i don't have a, a, a thick em butt but i, mean, <laughs> I want to play too i want to play too play? How do look. you complain? They look good on little butts too. Right? <laughs> look, I'm the girl with too big of a butt to be wearing the small ones where the boots are too small. That's me. Go right up in there, right? Like. Or, or like it like doesn't go like over the crack. Like it's right. like. He's just like now, man, now my me. man is the big booty in the relationship, and so. Uh -huh. I, he was the test dummy. I had to make sure his booty fit. There we go. Right? Yeah. So if you need some models, so don't you worry. I got it. Jarell and I will gladly model. Okay, <laughs> <chill>. <laughs>
and, and I, will, I will donate my little tush as well. Yes, man. I know that's right. Body, yaddy, 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 I, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. I know my angles. <laughs> that's right. Oh my god. Also, that's an exclusive community. If you did not catch that exclusive, <laughs> yeah, I'm telling that you, I am, I'm so excited to wear these next summer. Oh, like, for sure. Ah. And I'm working on a whole new thing for next summer. I'm going to have a neon capsule collection. I'm doing all sorts of fun new things. Okay. Yeah, here yeah, for it. We're going to have to bring gonna get... you back to, to, to yeah. drop the, the new <laughs> season. Let the community yeah. know. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and, and before I forget, too, community, like, CAFCO has been so amazing working with us. They have a specific code for the community right. members. Yeah. So you're get your, get your pen ready, get your, your phone Roll. ready. <laughs> So the code is minority, and you know how to spell minority, sipping tea, two zero. So M-I-N-O-R-I-T-E-A, two zero. Put that promo code. It's good for a week. So hopefully you heard this episode. Yeah, <laughs> Early 20% in the week, we'll put it on our social. Yes. We'll put it on mm -hmm. our social. But uh, he's so gracious to do that for us. But uh, of so you can, you know, live your fantasy in the house as well, like we are right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what, you know, another thing that I love about these, outside of the way they feel and the way that they look, they pack so easily. Like so when easily. you're packing, when you're packing <clears throat> for just a weekend getaway, like yeah, uh, I, I packed for this weekend. We're I'm I'm in Rhode Island for a couple yeah. of days and. I literally folded this up and it was like nothing in my bag. No, yeah, they're amazing. I'm wearing mine to the airport. It's so, it's yeah. so I'm gonna good. Tuck this in. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah. want a blouse, like just a shirt like this. And I guess you can oh, kind of okay, like tuck it into your jeans. Don't even start because I'm already working on it. Okay, good. Ah, I literally, so literally, they're exclusive. I, I literally, got, I'm working on it. I'm this came in the mail and it was the first thing I told Corey. I was like, Corey, I want this in a shirt. Like right. I wanted this. So do you know like the good camp shirts? Like yes. that every the kind. Mm -hmm. I love a good camp shirt in the summer. Yeah. So I was like, if I can make a camp caftan shirt, then that's you got all that's the money. Like wear it with some shorts. <laughs> yeah, button it up. Stuff. You know. Yeah. So I'm literally the first thing I use a paper <laughs> plan. Like what's the layaway plan, that girl? You know, I'm just gonna hook up my direct deposit and I'm gonna just start pressing right to your bank. Just oh like my a, god! So ready. true. Like my husband's <laughs> like. Which is not a good thing for me because normally we sleep naked, but he's been wearing this to bed the last like <laughs> since we got ours. I'm like, bitch, take this off. Like I know it's cute, but I'm like, it's, it's interfering. Like, well, I guess you could just time and place. I, I guess you could just lift it up though, but it's you know, yeah, yeah. easy access, but <laughs> easy access. <laughs> Meanwhile, his mama listened to this episode. Ooh, yeah. Oh my goodness, hey mom. She, she know I'm grown and married, so it is right. what it is. I was married now. She was at the wedding. She was How at the wedding. How long have you been she married? Was, she know. <laughs> oh my God. You've been married oh. now. You're man. Literally a year. Uh, it was a year not October. Oh, wonderful. So like we uh, got married in Puerto Vallarta last year. And uh, actually we went back down. So I should have ordered this before I went down there. Um, so I'm ready for my next trip. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're, 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 Miss Rona, sit down somewhere, please. Yeah, uh, please sit I down. I need a trip to wear this out. And yeah. so Corey can wear his out. But yeah, like, a little over a year. Been together eight and a half years. Amazing. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh man, I'm over here just thinking about vacay now. I don't forgot Let my next question. Uh, I'm, I'm in characters. What's my lines? Lines, lines, line. right? Lines. Oh, I know what I wanted to ask you. How did you come up with the name? So I obviously it's a play on calf tan, but like what's yes. the Oh, we. So I I kind of like knew that I wanted it to be a play on the word calf tan because I didn't want it to have anything to do with my name. I also really love this like idea of like when you're searching for something the name of the brand is already kind of the name of a product. Right. So you don't have to search too far for it. Yep. But we had some really horrible names before this one. Let me tell you. Um, one of them, which was Say Caft their Man. names. We had Caft Man, which, Caft Man. oh man, if we had gone with Caft Man, what would I have done? Because that is- Who came up with that? I, I don't even want to say his name, but it's, <laughs> it might, I might have had something to do with it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, thank God we didn't use that. Um, but then we were like Capco and Company, and they were like, that sounds so corporate. 
And then we realized we're like, well, I spell caftan with K. You're you're allowed to spell it with a C or a K, uh-huh. um, and it's still proper. So I was like, I spell it with a K. Let's do caftan and company, but no and, and just do co with a K. I'm partial um, to the letter K myself. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, let's just let's go, you know. And it it worked. Everyone was like, yeah, that's a great name, and. It stuck. Some people have asked me, they're like, haven't you guys been around for years? And I'm like, no, six months. And so they're just wild. like, it just seems Isn't like you've been crazy. around forever. So, yeah. yeah. Like, six months, literally, you months, see yeah. it on people's pages now. I'm like, oh, that's a calf code too. Oh, oh, she got a calf code. I know, I know. Like, have you been out yet and saw someone in it? And you're like, oh, bitch, already? So <laughs> I have not, but what, because I haven't been going out yeah. and I never really, I, and you should, right? Yeah. Good yeah. Good answer. <laughs> that is a good answer. <laughs> but I get videos from other people. Uh, I had, over the summer, I had people sending me videos from Fire Island where they would be at like a table and guys would come in and they're all wearing them. Yeah. Or there were moments in, uh, in um, Provincetown as well. People were sending me pictures. Um, Las Vegas, someone was sending me a picture. They're like, oh, those are cat fans. So it's just very interesting. My friends will have been out and see them. Um, but yeah, we've had, I mean, over 5,000 clients now. So, I mean, I don't even know where they all are, but they're all over there. Yeah. And now we've, we've been launching in Australia and, you know, their summer's just starting. So we've been getting a lot mm. of new customers out there, but it's just wonderful to see. We get everyone from like these mass for mass muscle daddies yeah. to very thin, beautiful, pretty boys to thick, you know, curvaceous voice. I was just all over the second. It. It's just, yeah. That's what you know, I love and about that, it. Yeah, the diversity is amazing. And I, I, I feel am, like, I feel like this summer, it's going to be a whole thing. I feel like when, when we're able to get outside, right. <laughs> socialize, <laughs> you, I think all the time that people are spending indoors, they are like, I know. I don't, if they're like me, if they're like me, I'm like, I'm stacking up for the summer next yes. year. Right. I'm stacking up. Yes. And, and this is just going to well, be and a that's staple. The thing. Everyone was buying them over the summer, but no one was really able to fully do the things that we're used to doing. And like my boyfriend and I were like, we realized we had not done, gone to a pool. We had not, right. we had not done anything this summer. We, the, the most we did was sit on our rooftop in them. So it was like, so hopefully next summer we'll be twirling around some pool, yes. you know? <laughs> yes. And I'll finally get back to Chicago. Literally the first year I haven't been to Chicago. Oh man, you got to come. 15 years probably. Wow. <laughs> so yeah. bitch, I'm going to be back in Chicago, get my life walking down Halston. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Like you see me, bitch. <laughs> you know, I moved here and everything's pretty much, I mean, things are open, but to a degree. So, right. I, but I haven't gone, we don't even go to restaurants really. And, yeah. um, it, but it's, it's crazy because I haven't really experienced Chicago yet. You know? Ooh, uh, you are in for a treat. You are in for a treat. Seriously, there's nothing like a Chicago treat. summer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, or a uh, Chicago it's, Sunday fun day. A Sunday Girl, Sunday in Chicago is everything. <laughs> you be on so life support fun. on Monday being like, I need an IV drip. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I did the most. I had to do the most. I don't know, but we got had this. to do the most. <laughs> right. It's like, uh, your Kafka order is going to be a day late because I'm trying to recover. <laughs> like, your Speedo will be here on Tuesday. Right. Oh, my God. Well, when I first started this, you know, I was doing all the shipping myself and people didn't know it wow. and I was doing it out of my East Village apartment and I was living in a four-story walk-up oh, and wow. these oh, boxes wow. would come in that I had to carry upstairs and I'd unpack everything that I got to ship all the orders and I could carry them back downstairs it was I mean people did not know what I was sweating going up and down those yeah. stairs but like Girl. I of course wasn't going to share that at the time but <laughs> I mean it was crazy I still took a lot of photos there was one time we when we originally started, we were shipping everything in boxes. And this one time, I think I had like 500 orders to get out. And my entire living room was like a wall of boxes. And I did some funny story. I said something about like, 
Now this is a wall I can go with because you know, like, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. like a wall of cats. Yeah, exactly. I'm good. <laughs> Soul yeah. cats. Yeah. yeah. Soul yeah. Cat hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was the first design? What was like numero uno? Like the first one you're like. Ah. There, was, there were two. There was well, we were we made two. One was for me and one was for my man. It was uh, the hippie stripe and okay. the tie stripe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tie stripe. Yeah. Nice. Named after him. <laughs> I, I, I want I want the uh the one that Dewan has on, but I was like, damn, Jarrell and Dewan already have that one. Yes. I was like, <laughs> So but I got you this know, somewhere. there is something about like a sister moment where like you're wearing the same caftan. Right. Yeah. Actually, That's what DeJuan said. I've seen that and I'm like, it's real cute. Right. Yes. Actually, mm -hmm. like, yes. so like, that's my next order. That's, that's yeah. my I next will order. Say it's that funny I will how say like I would never want to wear, I would never want to wear the same thing as a friend was wearing or my boyfriend was wearing. But like, there's something about when you do it with a caftan, it doesn't yeah. seem as like, it's just like, I don't know, we're matching. <laughs> It's like that's the squad. That's also, the auntie squad right there. Yeah. But there's there's also there's also that little like thing of it's a little bit of a secret, right? Like because you're you're really yeah. just getting out there and getting your brand out yeah. there. You've only been out there for six months. So yeah. to see that some people that the fact that we see as as those that aren't, you know, like in your sweatshop, right? We're right. not making it, we're not seeing all the orders, but for us to recognize a Kafka when we see one, yeah. or to see like a group of friends that have all decided, hey, we're all gonna, you know, not only support this business, but this is a cute look and we're all gonna wear this as sisters. Right. That is a, that's a cute moment. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's cute to see how, how couples do it. I'll get orders in and I can see one's a tall, one's a regular. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's one of those couples. Or, or like, uh, it's just like, you see a lot of, pairings and that's really cute and now we've got we've got kids and people are asking me like well, this doesn't really make sense for you to do kids this is a sexy thing i go well no it's for everyone and i've got seven nieces and nephews so i'm like i originally made them for my nieces and nephews because they call me gunkle ode they're yeah. they like always oh, like he's our favorite he's the most Aww. fun so yeah. i was like i want to make all my nieces and nephews some so i originally made it for them and now that's taken a life of its own as well and i bet kids are all getting into it and it's you know it's just something about that it's like no gender like my nephew yes. has long hair he loves wearing his caftan like we're we're growing up in an age where we need to like teach our children like it's okay to be whatever you want yes. right mm -hmm. so and i think growing up i didn't have that so i have a nephew who just came out at 13 years old i'm i'm trying to just love that teach them it's okay to be whatever you want whether that be feminine masculine whatever it is yeah. Um, mm -hmm. doesn't have to be based on gender or any of that but just exactly. whatever it is you want to be and it can so, change by the day like I mean mm -hmm. yeah. like I might rock a wig today and Tim's tomorrow <laughs> like, you right. know? and it's right. fine like to show the fullness of yourself you know that well, like you don't have to always be like, one thing the bear community which I was very much hanging out with a yeah. lot and I found a very large acceptance in the bear community because body positivity and the fact that I was like you know people were intrigued by who I was whereas like when I first came out it was all about being and looking a certain way that mm -hmm. just wasn't me but with the bear community there was also a problem of this like oh, hyper masculine overcompensating for being like you know masculine thing and I was like there is nothing wrong with being a lady bear and like I get my, all my oh, friends I love like, that. I love that. I love that. I'm here for that. Yeah. 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 And that's the sound bite. Yeah. Like, I am here for a lady. I would hair. show up with my purse. I'd be like, purse first, honey. Yes. And, like, yes. you know? and I'm like, I, I might look a certain way, but like, we all have a little feminine in us. Absolutely. We all, you know, and, so and it's beautiful. That. And it's yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, I, I see. I'm writing that. So yes, that is another. Bear. Yes, so that is another nickname of mine. People Lady call Bear's me Lady Bear. Bear. Yes. I, love okay. I, have, I have quite a few nicknames. Auntie Shakara Lady Bear. Coming mm -hmm. to the stage. That's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Lady Bear. And I just come out like. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Absolutely here for it. Oh my God. I want, I, just inquiring minds want to know because mm. I'm yeah. sure you get qu quite a few like photos of your, you know, folks wearing your stuff. Yeah. How many of those are um, not safe for work? 
<laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. that's a valid question. Uh, I'm, just, no, that's, I'm curious. That's a good question. That's I'm a good just question. I, I will tell you, the boys have come out of the woodworks. I sure. get <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where you came from, but they find me. Um, but it's, it's become they a fun little. They find me. <laughs> <laughs> it's become a little fun game between my boyfriend and I. I'll be like, "Oh, look at this one! Look at uh -huh. you just at me." <laughs> uh, no, right. I'm like, "How should I respond to this one?" Right. Like, just like, <laughs> my address is <laughs> <laughs> Lady Bear. Remember Lady, Lady Bear? Bear. <laughs> Sign. Lady Bear. Yes. Yeah. That is funny. Yeah. That is super, so how? Great. Like, so, like, you learn fashion from your aunt, which that's an amazing story that she thank you, like, took care of you. Like, because maybe a lot of people would assume, especially like mm -hmm. 20, 30 years ago, that yeah. people would be like, No, okay, I saw his sketchbook, I'm yeah, getting rid of it, I'm not honing right. that skill, I'm not, yeah, you know. How does she feel today? Like, how does your family feel today, especially now with Capco taking off like this? They're like, Are they like, Yes, that's right? Or are they like, uh, my you know, Listen, or my like family, time or... <laughs> my family has been rooting for me since day one. And like when I told my family at 13 that I was going to be a fashion designer, they were also fully supportive. My um, parents have been at like every fashion show of mine. They put me through school. They helped me All along the way. When I came out, they were fully accepting of me. And my parents are Muslim. I I still consider myself a Muslim. Mm -hmm. um, although I don't practice, I am, uh, I, that's, that's my faith choice. Yeah. And, and it's just crazy because, you know, a lot of Muslim families are very conservative and would not accept a young boy like myself to come out and, and be so expressive in who I was and had no fear in it. Um, yeah. But they were just wonderful. I've had, I have a large family, uh, two brothers and two sisters who both are on both um, my brothers and my sisters have both been amazing and supportive since this has launched they've just been like what the hell because i was in such <laughs> i was in a very also difficult situation i was working for another designer and lost my contract with that designer um due to the pandemic and so i didn't really have a source of income i was what am i going to do how am i going to survive i'm in new york city so it was a scary time and i just stopped I remember there was a day where I just stopped being afraid of any of that stuff. And I think once the fear stopped and like, I didn't allow the fear to get the best of me. I just focused on what I could do, which was create, um, things just started changing for me and the, the problems started to disappear and, you know, they've been, but yeah, they've been extremely, extremely supportive. My aunt, um, I don't have as much contact with as of today, but mm -hmm. along the way, she's been very supportive and most of my family members have yeah. been. So it's been great. Yeah. That's awesome. Very fortunate in that sense, because even my, some of my um, distant family has are supportive as well, which they, you know, they still are in the Middle East. And yeah. so yeah. They, the mentality out there is, is definitely a little still behind um, yeah. to say the least, but you know, to each their own. I don't, you know, I don't really worry about it. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm like, yeah. literally, it's a caftan. So it's paying homage, like I said earlier. Yes, to, 100%. So yeah. All of that. And look, at my mom, my mom wears them. My sisters wear them. Like, yes. we got the whole family. Yeah. The only one that my dad is the only one who's like hesitant. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. <laughs> He's like, I'm showing good, all this guy. You're not yeah, seeing this guy today. <laughs> He's, He's, <laughs> He's waiting for those yeah. calf socks. He's waiting for those calf socks. <laughs> He's like, will you get those? Oh, yeah. All right. But, you know, I'm gonna um, stop but, all over. Her. <laughs> <laughs> but my father's an architect designer, and so I got some okay. of my skill from him too. He's amazing. He, yeah, he's a great guy. So. But yeah, it. and they're yeah. still in California. Yep, they're in nice. Southern California. Yeah, Cali. Well, yeah. Where where can they buy them as well? Like we gave the code out, but where can they even buy them? What's the what's the website? All on Capto.com. Awesome, awesome, and we'll so say that. KAF tko.com you can also can shop, on our, shop on our instagram and the promo code is m-i-n-o-r-i-t-e-a two zero minority two zero <laughs> right. can i also can i just also just shamelessly plug things got to me so quickly i was yeah. i was surprised Boy. like 
for order because I ordered off of Instagram. So I'm on yeah. Instagram all day, all day, all day, all day. Um, all day, all day, all day. All day, all day. <laughs> but, but when I ordered, I literally clicked the link directly from the ad and then I I bought this one and a couple others. And I was surprised, like legit, they were there like before I even knew it. And Love I was that. expecting it to take like a couple of weeks. And you know, that was a beautiful surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. We used to have, well, we were, we were doing a lot of uh, things as a pre-order or back order and it became pr a little bit problematic and I was doing all the shipping. We had to transition everything into a UPS e-fulfillment center. So everything's distributed through them now. It's all stuff that is in stock. If we do a pre-order, it's only stuff that we know we're getting with, within a week. So we're not like pre-ordering things that are coming in three weeks. So right. we're very, we're very, very cautious of that just because we know people are buying these for either vacations or for certain moments or whatever they need. And so we don't want them sitting there waiting for weeks. They usually typically get there within a couple of days, which is great now. And yeah, yeah. I'm glad to hear you experienced <laughs> that as well. That was not always the case, but it is the case. Anyway. <laughs> you know, we were, we were dealing with a pandemic too. So it was like challenging. That part. That part. Yeah. Yeah. Well, community, Oday is going to stay with us and answer your ask your ask your auntie question of this yes. week. <laughs> so, what time is it? Ask, ask your, your auntie. auntie. <laughs> I love it. Oh man, uh, y'all so too cute. Really? Y'all <laughs> too cute. <laughs> We should have said, ask your lady bear. Yeah, ask your <laughs> lady bear. <laughs> lady bear. <laughs> I'm so here for that name. Yeah. You know, like, I, I'm glad you said that, going back to that, just because, like, my husband and I are, like, complete, like, not the same height, not the same yeah. size, nothing. Yeah. Like, we both look dope as hell in the caftan. Yes, <laughs> you know? like, I, I love that. that. I that, love that. that needs to be on, I'm sorry, that needs to be on a t-shirt. Lady <laughs> Bear and, and, and pink lipstick. That yes. is yeah. so damn cute. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. So to ask your auntie's question, oh Lord, community, get ready. Um, so it says, I'm in a long time, long time relationship with my boyfriend. It's been a year and a half. So I yeah, okay. We've been staying at each other. They're doing it. They're doing it. You know, <laughs> staying at each other. <laughs> At the big, at the beginning, he was douching a lot, but recently during sex, I keep getting dirt on my cock. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't mention it to him, but is he not cleaning by purpose, or does he think he's cleaning but is it? How should I tell him? <laughs> here's the you heard thing, the crickets. <laughs> here, here's the thing that I don't, I don't understand. I guess is usually if you know sex is a little messy because it, yeah. it happens it let's happens. just be clear it Absolutely. happens and Shit literally you could, happens. it literally happens that part <laughs> um but usually you can <laughs> smell it like oh, you, okay. usually you you there's know like <laughs> there there it, usually you know and it it wafts you know so like as you're oh my god you know pounding <laughs> the pavement shut <laughs> up just, <laughs> This is just How going you, down. Both you, the pavement. Okay, that's a good one. You, that's a good one. She's full of them. Oh my god! It's oh just Lord. there's usually oh. there's usually an odor. So. That's a, that's the thing that I'm confused about. It's how is it that the the poundee doesn't <laughs> also recognize <laughs> the poundee. <laughs> Oh my that, goodness. There might Shut be a little bit of extra maintenance going on in there. I I'm think throwing that out there. Oh listen, my God. I think the answer to this question is very simple. Communication is key, honey. You need to talk to your man. Look, that part. <laughs> you know, just talk to your man. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it's a little wow. embarrassing like, though. <laughs> for sure. I mean, ain't nothing, ain't nothing. Well, at least for me, more horrific. Outside of you know, you peeing a little bit when it happens, <laughs> like <laughs> the 
that smell is like a boner killer. Like all of a sudden, like your <laughs> head me, can't think right. about anything else. I'm like, it has to be done. So, yeah. I mean, if like Dewan said, if he's smelling this, I think he might be into some shit. Really, so <laughs> you, you know, like I cannot stand you guys. <laughs> I cannot stand you guys. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so, uh, how in like, the oh, world do I follow up to that? I um, don't know, honey. Like said, you um, know, communication is key. You might be finding out a new kink that you didn't know about a year and a half ago. So, oh my. Um, oh, no, yeah, man. Communication is key. <laughs> Communication yes. is key because yes. the longer you s- hold that in, it's just going to get increasingly awkward because he's going to be like, wait, it's been going for the last year and a half and you're just now telling me this? <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> so you need to tell him and then just be, I guess, prepare for his answer. Like if he thinks he's cleaning out accordingly, maybe you need a new new system routine. or so a new routine but i guess watching what you eat and things like you that can but do it together you know a little tutorial together or something this is a clean hole this is a dirty hole you know wow. like so you, so are you going to are you going about that are you going to help that, him to that, the toilet a, and all that too? Ooh, like, i mean i mean that could be some foreplay you, some people may be into that oh would would i mean if he's asking oh. your aunties he Probably isn't. <laughs> some people, you know, yeah. some people yeah, like to clean like the plate themselves, you know. So, but I, mm, I can't I, with y'all with these analogies. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna go that. over here, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need to this part out. <laughs> <You're on. laughs> and I think we'll 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 offer some advice on what to say, but I think um, logistically, there's probably a couple of tells. I think because usually you know it's a <laughs> i'm using my i'm choosing my words carefully <laughs> usually um a hole isn't always ready so right. if if you're topping him and and he's just like you guys just finished eating dinner and he clearly you know hasn't done anything right. you know to ex Maybe you might that, be that, expecting that be a, a little bit of yeah. something, you know, or, you know, if he's not spending as much time in the bathroom doing his self cleaning routine or whatever he does, um, you know, maybe that's a tell, you know, so yeah. there's perhaps a couple of tells that, you know, maybe something's not working all the way through. But I think at the other, on the other side of it, like, what should you tell him? Honestly, it's going to be uncomfortable. Yeah. And, uh, but I think, you know, number one, just know that um, that this should come from a caring place, not from a I'm a top and I just want a clean hole place right. because that is not going to get you any hole, mm-hmm. <laughs> a dirty sure. one or, you know, right. like you don't no, you don't want to come in hot <laughs> like that's, that's, a true statement. that's you, 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 you know, want to come in. I also want to say, though, but if you smash in them guts, bitch, like you have to expect <laughs> this, though, like, you know, <laughs> like. But like, you know, I mean, I mean, if you go, I mean, if you're doing, you know, the most, you know, and you sure dive it in deep, you like, you uncovering some stuff, like literally. So, you know, yeah. maybe you just made, maybe just the tip only or something, you know, like, I don't know, but just think about it, just how much, how much work you put into the whole too, that could be creating a much mess that it might be doing too. And what's hot, like, and also like when you're douching, there's, even sometimes a certain time frame that you should like <laughs> probably wait a little bit because wait. you might think you got all the water out. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, but, fiber. And... Don't talk to your boyfriend about fiber gummies. My doctor just got me on those. Two fiber gummies a day. Supposed to be more spontaneous. Keeps the dirty dick you away. Chat with you and the wig. And you're talking about this. And you're just flipping that wig, girl. You're just like, get your fiber gummies. <laughs> <laughs> Darrell is giving me Nene Leaks vibes right now. Yes, he's, that is true. Nene, Nene Leaks vibes. Yes, Nene Leaks. <laughs> I said what yes, I said. I said what I said. What I said. So nasty, said, so rude. Two gummies, yeah. two gummy fibers a day keeps the dirty dick away. That's what we learned oh today. Oh my God. That's yes, what we does. learned today. Yes, well, it does. You have it, kid. Yeah, I think we found our title of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my god, oh my god. continue to send your ashy aunties questions in aya at minoritireport.com 
clearly you guys are getting very comfortable with us for sending these kind of questions in. So we're going to be just as comfortable <laughs> with these pounding the pavement. So, yeah. and you know what, <laughs> to be honest with you, to be honest with you, the boyfriend might be feeling quite comfortable. You guys have been together for a year and a half. If you're smashing him guts, he might be feeling like, you know what? He hasn't said anything yet. Oh. Do mm -hmm. I, do I need to continue doing this? Mm -hmm. Because let's be honest that, I mean, that douching process is not like, it's exactly. not like, that's not like an everyday walk through thing the park. To be, to be no, it's not. All day, every day. It's, mm -mm. No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no. There's a lot of preparation that goes into that. And so. you I have me at least three glasses of wine. <laughs> 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 and you got to be sensitive to that. And it, and actually, the question does come across sensitive to that. To, to what's occurring. You know, it's not like you're reckless. Like, oh my god, this is so disgusting. You know, because mm -hmm. that doesn't yeah. help the situation at all either. But it's it's just part and, of the it's just part of gay sex. <laughs> it's going and to honestly. Occur. Instead of telling him, maybe you ask him. Maybe you just ask him about his, you know, his recent douching routine or, you know, cleaning routine. Because, you know, as opposed to telling him something, you know, like, Stop taking him to Taco Bell. Damn. Sheesh. Okay. Or, <laughs> or, Taco, Bell, or not look, Taco Bell. Or not use the, the other the hole. Double Chalupa. <laughs> or use the other hole. That's another or option. Or use the other hole. That's another option. But all right, get community, <laughs> AYA at minorityreport.com. <laughs> oh, my God. And so you saw the Grammy nominations were released today. Yeah. yeah. Surprised hold on by one, anything? Hold, on, hold uh -huh. on one second. I just want to compliment all y'all's cleavage. Like, I'm just looking across, uh, and I'm seeing all of this melanin. I'm seeing all of this definition. I'm seeing all these beautiful collarbones. I'm seeing yeah. all these beautiful faces. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> really feeling that fantasy. You know, yeah. <laughs> she, next thing you know, she's going to push a button and wind starts blowing. She's got Mariah Carey. I wish. Where's my, where's my Beyonce fan? Bitch, you ain't never lied. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I know Corey was twirling in his. But today, like, I, like before the episode, I put it on. He's like, you look really good in your caftan. I was like, thanks, boo. So thank yeah. you to O'Day. I might be getting laid tonight. Thanks, hon. Yes, honey. <laughs> I hope two snaps for you. Yes. No, no. He was like, he looked, he was like, you actually look really nice in that captain. I was like, I love that. Aww. Aww, you do love please. me still. Body, yadi, 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 body, yadi, 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 yadi. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, Lord. But, okay, oh, we're speaking of Body Adi, Megan Thee Stallion got nominated for New Artist of the Year. Yes. Uh, for the Grammys. But the, the Grammy nominations seemed a little weird. Yes. yes. Like, who got yes. nominated and, like, what songs or, like, record of the year and things. I'm like, yeah. really? Those were the records yeah. of the year? Like, even, like, Beyonce, you know, I stand for me some Beyonce, but Black but Parade? Black Parade? <clears throat> yeah. I, I did not know. hear that being the record of the year. And it came out in June too. Oh, what about so, Dua Lipa? That one I could see. Right. Yeah. That one I yeah. heard everywhere. Yeah. 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 And by yeah. everywhere in my Dua. house, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I like. I, mean, I love me some Dua. The album is a bop. Like yeah. people up yeah. the home. The album is, is so. Oh my good. god, she like, just performed in this like silver glitter caftan yeah. that is out of this world uh, mm -hmm. on her Instagram, I was gagged <laughs> yes, for that. So I was beautiful. like, what <laughs> is that? See, that's, gonna be, that's, gonna, that's, gonna, that's, gonna, that's gonna be the Cafco black label. <laughs> that's the Cafco couture, honey. Yes, right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the red but label. here's the thing about Dua. They keep, like, it's a, they, like Jarrell said it, like I texted in our text this week. I was like, they keep trying to make Dua dance. She's doing it. She's hanging in there. She's hanging yeah, in like there. Her, uh, but yeah. <laughs> first of all, when they did those three steps to the left, I said not to keep a shuffle, bitch. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I was like, I can't. I was not. like, I was like, bless but Dua's heart, but it's a bop of an hour. Yeah, look, it's a bop of an hour. Yeah. A little finger. <laughs> right. She don't have. To she don't have to dance for me. She can have me all the backup either. dancers. Yeah. This, the, like I, I don't follow a lot. I don't like a lot of newer artists yeah so to speak but i really love dua lipa i i think her music just it's so effervescent it's so bubbly yeah. it's so like moody and like the most positive kind of way and she can actually sing 
and she yeah. can and she can sing. Yeah. So like if if the, if the bitch gets on the stage and all she's doing is a Mariah Carey with a you know with one hand in here. Let's be honest, she's doing more than Mariah Carey. She's doing she more than Mariah. Yeah, she's what doing I'm more saying that. though is it, she don't need she ain't look. She don't need enough, that. There are Megan right. Stallions out there. There are the you know the the Cardi B's out there. There's the Beyonces and then there's Dua Lipa. So. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Oh, I don't know where she is in that order. <laughs> I mean, she's in the, the same end. category. I mean, she's in the same category. Oh, she's definitely in the same category. So, Absolutely. I mean, she's in the ballpark. Definitely. But you know, Absolutely. like, like I told uh, Carell that I was like, you know, if you go make a dance album, you're gonna have to give us an A count. You can't yeah. do a dance album yes. and not have an A count. It's That's true. just not how it goes. It's you know, true. like and she, she hanging on. Well, she, but she's what like, if she Ooh. got the voice, but she didn't got the rhythm? What if she got the voice, but don't yeah, that's what's the happening? Rhythm? That's, that's what's <laughs> happening. She really don't. Right. She really right. don't. But you so, know, she's like, like let's, I'm gonna do what he yeah, says. I'm gonna try it anyway. Let's, just accept, yeah. let's yeah. just accept what she gives us. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. 100%. Without a doubt. I mean, yeah. I thought the nominations were good. It was nice to see her nominated so much. It was nice to see Megan Thee Stallion nominated. I think mm-hmm. she she's also the only female rapper nominated too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, she was the only one. Wait, WAP yeah. didn't get nominated for nothing, or was it no. too late after the? WAP didn't get no, it, and it wasn't too late. It wasn't. Oh, no, wow. WAP wasn't too late, but it didn't get yeah. nominated. Ah, yeah, that's yeah. interesting. So yeah, so I don't know. I just thought it was interesting, but I will say this though. I also found that, like, honestly, Megan Thee Stallion's like song of the year, record of the year is the Savage remix with Beyonce. With Beyonce. Not, the, yes. not the just the Savage, you know, song itself. Just by it came out I mean, because Beyonce you did know. body her on the She the did. Remix. She did. I lie. She, she did. did. I mean, <laughs> yeah. them bars, I mean. I mean it, it is what it I'm is. I'm still thinking about jumping. That could have been the whole song. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Every single time I get in some jeans. <laughs> Look, jumping bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought it was good. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I mean, it's been a, just a, a weird year for music, so I yeah. really don't know who's going to. Also, shout out to Chloe and Halle, too, who got nominated. Get nominated. Oh, yes. I, I, okay. Them little girls I, in the house okay. Well. I gagged for them. They are just. Yes. Yeah, they're, I love yeah, yeah, they're, they're amazing. So great. Yeah. Everything. Wait, they did Lady bring... Gaga get in any nomination? She I think she got like two. She got Chromatica, yeah. like best best pop, pop vocal album. album yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, and then she best... didn't get like Rain on Me. I thought Rain on Me was gonna be it, in there. I know. It like, did. Like, I, I think it got for best of the summer. duo, like pop yeah. duo or something like that. I think it was right, best but pop not duo. like record or song of the year. Wow, interesting. Wow. I told y'all that was the song for the gays at brunch. <laughs> the, uh, like, that is true. They, she needed the gays this summer, and mm-hmm. we just weren't there. COVID ruined yeah. it for her. Yeah. Because <laughs> that that's true. that is a gays at brunch. Bop. Yeah, one hundred percent. what it is. Or yeah, you know, yeah. like a pride bot, but like yeah. pride didn't happen, and there yeah. were gays at brunch. So you know who else got nominated? Drell's homegirl, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Why do you say you know, this? She is the most- Don't make me in this podcast right now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not your homegirl. That's not your homegirl. <laughs> First of all, let me tell you. Never oh, gonna get note. it. Never gonna get it. <laughs> Look, never, never gonna get so, it. So, side no, note. No, no. So, uh, okay. So, I have to admit this. I don't like. I don't say this often, so I'm just gonna put it down so okay. it's on the internet and it's out there for the world. So <laughs> there are two songs of Taylor Swift that I do like. Uh-huh. They're like, oh, little moody Taylor Swift. And I liked them because when she was out, I was in my tw- like mid, early 20s. So I was kind of moody and she was, she was doing the most going, you know, <laughs> like I was doing the most. So I liked those two songs. So fast forward to yesterday. One of the songs came on because it was still on my like my music library, uh-huh. and Fizz stopped and he said, "Is that Taylor Swift?" <laughs> I wait, said, what, I... "Wait, what'd he do? What'd he do?" <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Is that Taylor Swift?" I said, "I like two of her songs, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> but I can't stand her outside of that. I can't stand her outside of that." Um, Cause she just mimics everything she does. She mimics Beyonce, like from Coachella yeah. to then Beyonce doing Homecoming on Netflix. Then she released mm-hmm. her thing on Netflix. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, oh, just like um, she's now doing a thing on Disney Plus. Beyonce yeah. just did a thing on Disney Plus too, which was I'm like, iconic. Oh it my was god, amazing. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh. Yes. Um, so I'm like, get off Beyonce's dick, yo. Like, go find another dick. Like, there's plenty. There's plenty. 
But you know, it, it's funny. I found myself. Well, she's feeling... had plenty. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I mean, come on, we, we bitch, you haven't. <laughs> Oh, Look, I, she got yes, four, she got honey. four albums worth. So, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know she got plenty. I did feel bad right. for her the other day when I saw in the news that uh, her catalog got sold for three hundred million dollars. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, and, yeah. And so she's yeah. like re-recording her uh, um, her albums, which I'm like, you know what, do the damn thing, Taylor. Like I like felt rooting for her because I was like, that's some fucking yeah. bullshit. And yeah. it's dudes that are is like men. So no, like, she's oh, definitely yeah. like, yeah, she's been screwed over I a few mean, times. But listen, she's not hurting for cash. No, no. but three hundred million—that's my three hundred million. I wrote them damn songs mm -hmm. <laughs> off yeah. them dicks well, that she, I had. Look, she didn't. She didn't own the rights. I know. So that's that's, that's a lesson learned. It that's is. a lesson learned. You know, when you when you book in these, you you got these multi million dollar deals, and you start coming out with these albums and whatnot, you need to get a little bit more scrupulous with you know who owns and the it, rights. And I, and I think it sucks though because like I think those <clears throat> albums were her original deal. So yeah. when she yeah. was like sixteen, seventeen, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so like when you're there, like it's always that choice is like, do I get on and then worry about it down the line, yeah. or do I say no from the get go? And you got to remember, like fifteen years ago, like. The industry was completely different than even what it is now, where you could probably start a little more independently. Right. So it's just like that part of me. I, I'm like, damn, okay, I feel for you. But there's other parts of Taylor that I'm like, ugh. ugh. And the same thing happened <laughs> I mean, to Prince. The same thing is happening right now to Kanye West. Yeah, you know, it like everyone. it happens. It's one of the things yeah. that they don't share about the hardships of the industry is like there's a lot of like shady ass shit that happens. Do like they that. do that a Which lot in the fashion interesting... industry? Like. Do... It's really, it's almost impossible to copyright anything yeah. in the fashion right. industry with when it comes yeah. to garments. It's, it's, it, you can copyright prints, you can do certain things, logos, um, but it's, it's difficult. I mean, that's why they say if you change one little thing, you can get away with it. But yeah. um, there's yeah, still a lot of things that go on that are, that are, you know, shady, even then when they're not, when they're supposed to be like copyrighted, like Louis Vuitton. I mean, Mm -hmm. Girl, we all know the bags on Santi Alley. Like, <laughs> that's just, you know, that's just part of the game, you know? Yeah. 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 Oh, man. Any other song you were listening to, though, that you were like, yeah, I'm glad that was nominated? Me? Anyone? Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the I Can't Breathe song by her. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah. You know, I felt that was just perfect going during, which is still happening, y'all. Yeah. Black Lives Matters movement is still happening, sure. even though your news feed has gotten back to normal. They still right. matter. Um, you know, so I just like that that song for me has just been something that when I think about the movement, it just makes me feel a little bit more like motivated. It just yeah. makes me feel a little bit like I'm not the only one. I feel con I feel even more connected to my people through that song, yeah. you know. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. that. And then Roddy Rich got nominated for a lot, so <clears throat> he's got TikTok to, to thank for the box and all Who's that. Who's this little boy? You've heard it all on TikTok. It was like every like TikTok. <laughs> I ain't of the on year. TikTok. But you on Instagram. You know, you on Instagram, and it was like every video on Instagram and social what, media. What, what and song is it? I don't yeah. know. What, yeah. like... You literally, I'll send it to you. Like, oh shit, I did hear this all fucking year. <clears throat> no, I, honestly, I don't watch a lot of like. TikTok videos, I really don't. It's not even, even just like, like in like take the even, TikTok. It was like in like literally someone doing their hair with the song and putting on clothes and at the gym. Like every Instagram video this year had this song. You probably didn't even know it was that song. That's what it is. So anyway, it must have been that good if I didn't remember it. <laughs> it must have been record of the year. <laughs> she really is unique tonight. Right, I'm sorry. Literally. <laughs> She said, as we see each other. Each other. Oh, come on. <laughs> and that's why we love Auntie I Hattie. You, but I bet you the, the social media, though, is what helped that song. Oh, that's what I was saying. What? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. that don't mean that the song was good. It just means that people Showed was, up. you know, making it stay relevant by doing other stuff. Yeah, I, I also I feel like the Grammys, I, I, I feel like there's like a, a, a degree of sophistication that your average Joe just does not have in terms of like, it's not just a popularity contest. You know what I mean? Like AM, that's what the AMAs are for. That's where for like these other yeah. award shows are for. This is for, you know, like excellence in musical production and, 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 and 
all to the an other extent, stuff. Though, because yeah, literally I'm not the saying, voting I'm not... base is like old white men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still but mad it, at it's... that one dude that beat Beyonce, who still ain't relevant anymore. What's his Ooh. name? Um, I don't know who beat he beat he beat her for album of the uh for song of the year. Oh, for our, was, was I think like it was, a, oh, you're talking about time. Beck. You're talking about there. Beck. You go him. See oh, that, that's yeah. nah, bro, so mad. Yeah. So, exactly. <laughs> again, where is he? But I still hear that song by Beyonce all the damn time. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know because you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's you're like right. yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, before we get out of here, we're going to play a quick little game that we have deemed it to be called O'Day or No Way. <laughs> and so since he's Mr. Fashion Nova over here, fashionista, <laughs> we just want to do some overall just random trends that have either been in the past or coming back and things like that and see, are you here for it or are you not here? So O'Day okay. means, oh, I'm here for it. No Way is like, get that shit away from me. And and we'll uh, get everyone's. Well, I'll get Dewan and Jarrell. I'll be the the commentator, and I'll see what all three of you guys are, are thinking. Okay, let's do her. So let's see here. Let's start with Fringe. Fringe, no way. No way. <laughs> and why? Why don't you like Fringe? I oh, like Fringe on a jacket, maybe. Uh -huh. but like Fringe on pants. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fringe on a dress, maybe it's cute. It just depends on how it's done, right? Okay. Like, for me, it's not something I would wear. Right. <laughs> but I can see it on somebody else. Dewan. O'Day. Okay. I'm, I'm here O'Day. for a fringe moment. Well, I, I, know, you, I know you got fringe. I know. So. <laughs> right, Jerome got fringe. <laughs> like, know that. So, we know I that. So, <laughs> but here's, but here's, wh here's why. I feel like fringe is the mullet of clothes and it brings it's like the party like <laughs> it, you throw it on something to give it pizzazz and so right. if you got if you've got like you know like little a cups like i have and you throw <laughs> on a nice little you know a nice little like bra but that bra got some fringe underneath there bitch she's doing something she's doing something she might not have no cleavage but she is doing something up top okay okay so I I feel you. I, I'm just that's where that's where she's coming from. It's, right. where coming it's from. not a, it's not an everyday kind of thing. But it's, you need agreed. to bring the party. Agree. It's the same reason, like because I have like a crop top that has some fringe to hide my stomach. So I right. got a crop top, but my friends distract from that stomach that ain't flat like some. See, what do I know? Are. What do I know? Uh, look, <laughs> look, look. Let me another another fringe thing. Like talking about speedos for for a guy that doesn't have you know a lot of junk. <laughs> Whatever. We ain't putting no fringe love, on the feet on right. I, would, uh, <laughs> I would love a little like fringe on the back. Uh oh, I'm like, she's like, like, like we're gonna give you a rubber <laughs> bell. Yes, yes. Give you some like extensions coming out. No. Right? See, for, for those of us that don't got a lot of stuff back there, that little fringe moment might be cute when you walk in by. You see Jarrell's <laughs> looking like. Mm -hmm. Actually, but I think I wanted that. My booty getting little, so I think I your might need it. Your booty is not getting little, girl. <laughs> yeah. If your booty little, getting little, my booty I, getting look, little. <laughs> I look, I called it little the other day, though. I did. I'm like, look at my little booty. <laughs> Little as compared to gigantic. Okay. Right. <laughs> Seriously. Mm -mm. She got them double D's oh on God. her back's head. Oh my God. Oddie, oddie, oddie. All right. The second one overalls. Overalls. That's, you know, I'm going to say okay, O'Day. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> overalls are cute on certain people. Again, not for me. Mm -hmm. Can't wear them. Don't fit me. I am, <laughs> I am five five, and I am husky, honey. So they just don't fit. But maybe I'll make a pair for myself that do fit. I don't and know. There we go. There we you go. You know, Dewan. Maybe some short, short ones. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no way, and only because that's a whole look. And oh, I, hmm, it's it's very like. It's very that. It's very like all about the. It's it's all about the the overall. No yeah. That's all. Yeah. It's all about it. So like yeah. no matter what else you're wearing, you know, no matter what else it is, it is about the overall. So it kind of like overtakes everything. I think. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and you have to be about that life. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why I you say, do. oh, day, because I only like it 
if the person's only wearing the overalls. I don't like it if someone's well. wearing okay. underneath. Yeah. underneath. Right. Even with women, like I love a woman with just like a sports bra on yeah. or like yeah. underneath it. Like right. I, just, yeah. I just love yeah. overalls to just be the statement itself and nothing yeah. else. If they rock like that, I, I think actually it looks bought. Good. I actually bought my boyfriend a pair of overalls. I see. I was like, <laughs> I want you to, I want you to garden in these, okay, honey? Oh, 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 I want you to work that hole to these off, baby. Okay. Where that hole at? Where that hole at, darling? <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right, the next one, jock straps. Oh, day. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, honey, I don't wear underwear, but I will wear dog stuff. There we anytime. go. Yes. <laughs> Super comfortable. Love it. Right? Just, bought a, just bought a new one. T- Todd Snyfield or something like that. Or cute, Todd, real cute. Is it Todd it's, Snyder? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I, I didn't have too many pairs of underwear and jobs. Yes, so. no, that's like the most comfortable male underwear there is. I agree with that statement. And you get a little booty, booty lift. Mm. I'm gonna say no way. They don't do anything for me. No, <laughs> they don't. No, I know. I it's it's weird being a gay man and saying that because they're so part of our culture. But right, yeah, just, they don't they don't do nothing for me. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish they did. Answer. I wish they I did. An answer. I don't know what to say honestly because I like them, but then like I feel like I never find the pair that works the best. Like, I ha- if I do, I have to have the ones where, like, the, the material is a little bit more stretchy in the front. Because mm-hmm. normally, like, the front side is the issue that I have the most with it. Because I'm like, I need just a little bit more space. Like, it, the material has to be able to give, right. you know? Mm-hmm. Because if it don't, then it does, it pulls from the straps on my butt cheek. And then it never gets to the side of my, underneath my cheeks <laughs> like I wanted to. You back so, heavy and you front heavy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so, like, I gotta, like... <laughs> look at the... Look at the teaser that's on our Instagram right now. <laughs> I have to say, I have to say that I'm the out of jack straps. I actually prefer like the original, just all white versus mm, like the anything mesh that's kind of see through. I don't, yeah. I don't need all that. I don't, I don't need all that. I, it don't need to be extra, just white. I like them all. Corey always goes. He's like, why do you have so many fucking jock straps? I'm like, because they're hot. They look good on like damn near everybody, you know, and they're comfortable as shit. It's like, why not? For me, it's comfort. I, yeah. All the above for me. All right. Yeah. Let's see here. Turtlenecks. I mean, I think the turtleneck is cute on everybody but myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no neck to begin with. So I'm like, where's the turtle gonna go? <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> Never worn one. Um, so I can't tell you. But it's cute on everybody else. I got a neck. Uh, I'm an O'Day on that one. I think a turtleneck is super, super sophisticated and sexy. So yes, mm-hmm. I agree. O'Day. Um, I, I'm with O'Day on this. Like, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I like it when everyone literally fizz wore one today as we're recording. And I was, look at you looking like a little fuck boy, looking out <laughs> and stuff. Like, Wait, not a fuck boy. <laughs> I mean, because like, he's a, a boy that you want to fuck, but not a yeah, fuck boy. But I mean, like, you, I'm like, yes, a boy that you want to fuck. But I yes. mean, like. Because he he looked it looked really good on him, and we it call that a fuckable. very effortless and chic and just like so nice that you want to get him all dirty and stuff, you know? Ooh, just okay. like okay. yeah, so I was like, okay, that looks good on you, Chris. But I'm like, oh, they, like for me, I'm just I'm too thick. My broad shoulders don't look good on Same, it, so yeah. the turtleneck stretches out a little bit up here. <laughs> it just, and, and just don't look right. It, it just connect from Wait, my ear to right. my shoulder. It's like, it's like Anderson, <laughs> so it looks like an obese turtle, like yeah. Anderson Cooper said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh Lord! All right, scrunchies. Scrunchies have made a big comeback. No way. They are never going to have a comeback in my <laughs> book. They are the worst thing that has ever been created for women's hair or men's hair or anybody's hair for that matter. I'm going to say no way. No way. Dewan. No way. Period. No way. No way. Stay away. No. It's such a, Stay like, away. My day job, the client I'm on, they make a lot of the scrunchies and elastics and things like that. And so I see the data of it. And scrunchies like sell like is ridiculous how well they sell right now. 
is bizarre. But that's not a fashion stop. moment. That's not a fashion moment. That that no. is a utility. That is a utility. That is because I'm going out. But you could buy to... elastics instead. So like the elastic. I mean, elastics are still doing well, but like the particularly a scrunchie. Like with the fabric and everything, are doing yeah. extremely well. Yeah. They, that's they, a lot they of people are. being out here being just like, bamboozled. Just like that's just <laughs> like bamboozled. Uggs. Look, just like Uggs do really, really well, but yeah. they are not a fashion moment. I hear you. At all. I hear you. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Mustaches. Oh yes, way. Oh day. Uh huh. Oh day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dewan. Oh day. All day. All day. All day. All day. All day. All day. I'm here for any. I'm here for any kind of like facial hair. Yes. So actually, though, I will. I cannot stand the long beards. Like I'm like, boy, you need to trim your beard. If your beard is coming down to your nipples, like that is that is a length I cannot work with. But a mustache, I can work with that. I know I'm going to know like what you what what you conditioning your beard with what you I know his look extra like I need, beard. I, I need like I like I'm gonna need to know if you got a long beard I'm gonna need to know how you manage it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just dirty. I mean, yeah, but if you know you you but if you're doing something in the bedroom and you, you give you something extra to hold on to, I'm just saying. <laughs> you gonna swing for that beard? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking of the position. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of like oh this, it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh my god. Okay. Rompers. No way. I want you no way. <laughs> and uh, yeah. No way. Dewan's thinking hard on this one. I'm just I'm just I don't mind when it's a set, I, like if it's a shirt and a short, uh -huh. but when it's one piece, like you, you, you don't need it to be one piece. <laughs> like it ain't a caftan, right? It's a, it's a top and a short. Like you can wear the same print and it look like a romper and then mm -hmm, it's cute yeah. and it fit well, but the romper itself is not flattering for me. Yeah, I, so I have, I have a, um, a denim, um, I have a denim jumpsuit. Oh, okay. I like a, like a flight that's suit. Cute. And yeah, flight suit. Like cute. that's that's just like it's but amazing. That's not a romper, but like the, yeah. but yeah. The, that's where I'm going in my head. Like mm. I'm trying to think. Have do I see? I think rompers are for Instagram. Mm. That's, yeah. it. Yeah. that's it. That's it. That's yeah. it. Like not like your Instagram real and like gay pride. <laughs> it's just, but even but even then, it's like it's 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 for the moment. It's for the photograph. Right. It's not for the fashion. You know, right. so I feel like it's it's a gimmick, you know. Yeah. So I'm gonna say no way. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm with you. No way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it looks good like on a specific body type, which is that gay white male body type that you see yes. typically very with thin. that's very yeah. thin. You know, yeah. like a buck fifty yeah. can blow. It's, out it's hard to wear if you're like. like Thicker and taller yeah. and yeah, anything yeah. like it's has to be us. You just end up looking like Danny DeVito from Batman if you bitch. do. If you, know, <laughs> if you, you know do, if you do no. looking like the Penguin, bitch. You really no. do. Just you don't. It just don't look right if you got curves. You're right. Uh -huh. You're, You're right. right. You're right. Okay. All right, here we go. Cargo pants. No. <laughs> Cargo pants. No. So, so this depends because like you could get a really bad pair of cargo pants. But like I just got some cute ones from Hudson jeans. They are really cute. Oh, it's just how they're it. made, right? Like your typical cargo pants or cargo shorts. Oh hell, cargo shorts are <laughs> the worst. Like if it's an amber crombie look, I'm like no way. But if it's high fashion, I'm gonna say cute. Okay, the one. Yeah, I like a cargo pant. And let's be clear, we're not talking about like the you know the wide leg. You know, carpenter, <laughs> carpenter, right, carpenter that's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. Because like from like '98. It's garbage. <laughs> yeah, that is horrible. That is, that is that is garbage. That is yeah. That's that's mm. for the guy that does not wash his junk. Oh that's right. The kind of, yes, like <laughs> you know, just it looked like a stink. <laughs> yeah, just mm -hmm. yeah. You you don't clean nothing, so you just gonna throw these these rags on. But a, I do love a side like a side thigh pocket. Uh, yeah, and yeah. in part because you know she's a she doesn't have a lot of curves, so you know that the host with the I, I like that. Of it. I, no, it's it's just a, it's interesting. I, yeah. I, I, 
I, I like be that cute. as a look. Yeah, I think and, so. And Jarrell yes, over there I'm, is I'm fucking her hair like, mm-mm. No, I, okay, I will say this. If we're, if we're saying high fashion, then yes, I would like it. Because I think, because when I think, when you say high fashion, I think of like a TLC, like cargo pants, you know? Right. Like, you know, where it's cute and then you got like a cute little crop top on or something right. like that. And you make it a whole like little look. Like, look. then I can say, then I can see a look cute on someone. But yeah. that ain't for everybody. You got to be no. a part of the 2%. And it's got to be the right pant. It's got well, to be, gotta be the right pant, yeah. The pants fit of the hard. pant matters. The yes. fit of the pants pant matters. Difficult. Yeah. The cargo okay. pocket, the cargo pocket in and of itself, thinner. I think it's... Like the fit, because like yeah, it, the ones of old, like from like it 90s, should be a patch, like the Gap it should be a patch ones. pocket. <laughs> right. It should be a patch pocket. I it agree. should not be like a pocket that has extra like... That you actually put shit give. in. Yeah. yeah. If it can be the baby, it's too big. <laughs> Next question. Next question is Speedo. Yes, O'Day. Yes. 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 O'Day. Yes. Oh, oh, that's an easy one. It's like, uh, I have yes. one on right now. So, like, I had to get in the whole moment. <laughs> I mean, girl, we I'm are back designing them. Like, we're really right. Seriously. Here, that's, the here, only, yeah. that's the only thing I wear. I won't wear board shorts. I don't wear any of the Speedo. Board shorts. Day. No way. No. Oh. I, I, oh. Trunks. No. Speedos. Mm. Okay, here we go. Lenny Kravitz giant scarf. Lenny Kravitz giant scarf. Remember the giant scarf he had that time? Yeah. There you go. Would you? Is that an old day moment or no way? I mean, I, I feel like Lenny Kravitz can't do anything wrong, but yeah, that's he's Lenny Kravitz. I mean, if I look like Lenny Kravitz, I could wear a potato sack and look great. I don't know. Like, so he I don't even wear a turtleneck. Lenny Kravitz is fine. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pass on this question. I don't want. Right, don't it's want like next question. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Harnesses. Oh. I'm over them. Oh. Okay. I had a moment with them, and I thought they were fun, but I'm just kind of. Over. I prefer a leather suspender now. I love. So. I wanted. I I was going to wear one in my wedding, and Corey said mm. no. I wanted to I love, wear one. So I bad. love a leather suspender. Dewan, what are you thinking? I'm gonna say no way. I've never, I've never owned one. I was never interested in owning them. I think they look fine on people, and that's great. But I do feel like it's kind of a, for me personally, I feel that it's kind of like it's a look, and mm. people are so desperate for a look that they can buy this harness. Like, oh, look at me! I've got my little harness, and it's. <laughs> So, you know, but wait, how are they like? Uh, <laughs> oh, look, <at> me. <laughs> look, you can you can grab the, me by the shoulders. <laughs> like, okay. Over here. You don't right. finish so, him. I, um, I'm, I'll so pass. no way. I like, I, like, I like them. Um, I like how I look in them specifically too, because I have again broad shoulders. Broad shoulders. And they, I have you look on like guys like us. Yeah, so they it, it looks really good on me. The thing is, kind of like the I'm not looking for that attention though, so I don't want one. Yeah. You know, yeah. like I just I don't need anybody being like, ooh, ooh. like I, I yeah. have that single girl. First of are. all, Fizz ain't playing <laughs> that game. Has that so yeah. Fizz will be like. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have me find people up in the club today. So, you know, we just, no. This old day for me, I like a little harness yeah. moment. Mm -hmm. you know, for the bedroom, though, no, yes. And all the above. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll do a couple more here. Shoulder pads. No way. No. no. Oh, dewan has got a look on his face. What you thinking, girl? <laughs> I'm a little John Crawford. I don't, it might depend on how it's uh, depends on how it be how it's presented. True, <laughs> might be a moment. You know, like uh, I don't know. Uh, like, listen, if it's done right again on the right gown on the right person, it can be very beautiful. You exaggerated shoulder, but in general, like if you think of those like '80s shoulder pads when women wore the the big you know business coats yeah. with yeah. the pads that go up to here, I'm like, uh, no, no, oh, no, not the yeah, '80s, that, ladies, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, but a little but shoulder like, could work. What came to my mind? Action. What mm -hmm. came to my mind was like Charlize Theron wearing like mm -hmm. you know like I think there was like a either a Golden Globes or um, an Oscars or something like that where she wore like a a gold. It had a shoulder like a really strong mm -hmm. shoulder, yeah. a very deep that. deep uh, neck, beautiful um, uh, gold and silver mixed metal necklaces. I think that was Alexander McQueen. 
it just so that's she's another what, one that I'm, could wear anything and look yeah, cheap and again, as hell. She, again <laughs> she if it's like couture and it's like in on a gown done right beautiful yeah if but i think for the like masses, a coat down the street yeah yeah but for can the you masses them, that's a no it's can the, you imagine the them on the no. gays can you imagine them on the gays like you know you got a t-shirt with shoulder pads Ooh, I'd <laughs> <laughs> even though my, like i'm like you like i already got broad ass shoulders but i do it shit but, you're uh, coming in here like this <laughs> <laughs> it's like you see me oh, bitch you see me yeah. <laughs> um let's see here Leggings. For whom? Just in general? I mean, whomever. they're whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so no way. <laughs> no, they're fine. I have no problem with leggings. I mean, <laughs> girls have been wearing them out way too often, but that's, hey, it's a legging. It's like you you wearing whatever you want to wear. That's fine. <laughs> the designer, Jeffrey Mack, had me this close to buying a pair of leggings really because yeah i've seen the male a leggings lot of what too. he the, the, for men they're like yeah. it's, it's just an interesting kind of it's an interesting kind of thing you know to have I've like men at the shirt. Gym with the shorts on top and i'm like that's cute but mm-hmm. even when they just wear them on their own i'm like i would never have the confidence to wear a pair of leggings like that but <laughs> yeah see i love you. working out and tights like leggings like okay so again you... i got the big booty and the, the tree right. chunk thighs you know so like she's for me, stunting on us this whole episode i'm not stunting i'm not stunting you better stunt you better stunt <laughs> <laughs> I will have I, was, I will have Fizz take a picture so y'all can see just yeah like, mm. post that body yaddy yaddy my I know legs look nice and some tights like I like yeah. like for because that's probably the favorite thing in my body that I like is my legs because you can see my legs and for those who like watch like track and field like especially yeah. as Brenton you got like the guys who have those big thighs and then yeah. you have like the tall skinny ass well I'm in the big thighs so you see my legs you see power you know big size save lives honey yes you know, <laughs> come on now. You know so see, that's why i like mine and yeah. see i i i'm my legs are like rail thin so it doesn't have the same kind of effect that i would mm-hmm. hope that it would have otherwise i will be doing it all day yeah, yeah see and that's yeah. why i love working out in them the only thing that i have though I'm like I'm done starting. Next question. <laughs> no, I'm done. You was about to talk about a dick start. print, weren't you? you no, oh I wasn't talking about that. It wasn't just a dick print. It's just the pouches and the male leggings aren't yet quite right. there. Like I'm right. still yeah. struggling yeah. to trying to find a pouch that I feel like can actually support my stuff. So. I know you better stop uh, on these hoes. Just, I'm not gonna be, stunting. They're going to be, they're gonna be, they're gonna be coming up in his DMs after this that episode. That far now. Like, no, but it's true. I'll go down so true. I was literally like, just talking to a friend who I play tennis with because he wears, he wears tights too. But he, again, he doesn't have as thick a thighs as I do. And I was, yeah. that's what I was like, do you have an issue down there? Because like when I'm running, like it's like I find myself, you know, like when you wear like <laughs> boxer, um, not boxer briefs, but like the longer boxer briefs, and they ride up in between yeah. your thighs. Well, so the me- the leggings tend to do that too, yeah. and so it doesn't support the area cut right. So I find myself having to pull my my thighs, you know, my pants down. <laughs> <laughs> It all comes out. It all just it went. All comes it out. All. That just went so bad so quickly. I forfeit my question. <laughs> oh, oh okay, goodness. this will be the last one. Cologne. You know what? I just got back into wearing cologne. So I'm going to say yes. I used to not wear it for years, but now I'm like, I found one that I love. Yeah. Why not? What Sound is good? it? Yes. Um, it's the John Barbados Blue. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm a fan of of like cologne, um, and I'm not a fan of like the over the counter bullshit. You know that the mass produced like whatever, whatever's like hot and popping or whatever. I want I would. There is nothing like giving someone a hug and you smelling like mm-hmm. something that that reminds you of reminds them. you of them. Yeah, yeah. So I love I'm that. Def- 
I'm that person too. If I if I hug someone and they smell good, I'm like, oh, you smell good. Like I'm quick mm-hmm. to give someone a compliment yeah. if yeah. they cologne smells good. But if um, they smell like Axe, they smell like Axe body spray. It's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. I like for me. I I like cologne. I don't wear it as often. Um, I'm just you know the aroma of that shea butter is all uh, is all I need. Right. You know, yeah, so right. um, I don't wear much. But I do like wearing it. Like if I'm if I'm wearing anything with a button up, I would put on some cologne. Yeah, yeah. like um, spray right but, there. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, 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 like like be hugging people. I like cologne. Yeah. My favorite, like, is the uh, Creed Aventus. Ooh, mm. That smells mm. good on everybody. Like, yeah, Creed's one, amazing. It's expensive as shit, though. I will yeah. say that, but uh, it smells delicious. And both mm-hmm. Mine and is, I love yeah. it. And even what smells on him smells different than on him. Than it sure. Oh, yeah. Me. That's yeah. Such a, it it makes it yeah. 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 great. Yeah, what, I, what love wood by, I love Wood by Tom Ford. It's mm. absolutely my that's favorite. I absolutely love it. Yeah, mm. that's a good one. So, but okay, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed that little game, the old day and no <laughs> You know, but you guys, this was so fun. We gotta just take time and say thank you, thank you, thank you. We know you're, you're fucking busy. Welcome. Um, especially like this week, Thanksgiving week, and all that. So I, I know you're trying to get orders out and everything. So to take yeah. time to hang with us is and being this so has been flexible because this happened so quick too. It did. Like, yes. literally just, <laughs> Yes. Like literally DMG within like yes. a couple hours, we were like on Zoom. And yeah. I know. This just I love it. It just it was just so yeah, natural. My whole thing I is like, I am a I am like a yes man right now. So like <laughs> I just I, when I see an opportunity that feels right, the vibe is right. And the minute we started talking our first call on Zoom, the vibe was right. Oh, so I yes. was like, Thank I am you. in. And Appreciate I, it. That's I'm awesome. all about the community, so let's just spread some joy, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Oh, I was about to say, where can they find you? Like, on socials and everything. Just Capco. Perfect. And, I mean, if they want to find me on my personal, they can figure it out. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and as we learned earlier, they do. They find you. They, 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 they find me. <laughs> <laughs> well before we end this episode we know obviously this will come out after thanksgiving but it's thanksgiving week when we're recording so i just want to ask each one of you guys what are you guys thanks- thankful for right now uh i'm thankful for this moment right here like honestly like on the day that we're recording this tuesday it was just work was a lot today mm-hmm. and i also found out that both my grandma my dad and my uncle i have covid Shut and up. so i have just been like really just kind of panicking and just going through yeah. it and when i tell you he puts people in your lives at the right moments like Aww. this is just so perfect so i am yeah. literally Aww. so thankful for this That's today so sweet. Mm. so you you know i would cry in a, hot, uh, a minute don't I let know. me cry I'm like, don't <laughs> Demond, what are you thankful for? <laughs> i'm thankful that biden and harris got elected that i'm i can't tell you how much I've cried and laughed and how lighter I feel right now, just knowing that, you know, although we're going through like the recounts and all that kind of bullshit, but the reality of it is, is that America did right by us. Yeah. For yeah. once. It, it was, it was tight. It was close, but at the end of the day, that's all that matters. It, and you know, we, it was time so we I'm, did yeah. right by us. <laughs> well, okay. we showed right, up. Right. We right, showed up. Right. Um, yeah. But that to me, I just, I never really, realized how much weight I was carrying yeah. for the last mm-hmm. three and a half years yeah. and, until that happened. And so I am so incredibly thankful for that so because for that. Had, yeah. had that not happened, yeah. Where would, would we be, all I would be, be at home? I would just, I would just right like, now. Yeah. I'll be planning my move out of this country. That's where I would be. Right. So I'm thankful I get to stay in the country. I know that's right. Oh, Dave, what are you yes. thankful for? Well, I definitely concur with Biden and all that because yeah. that was a very stressful thing. But I also am very, very thankful for my man and my dog. <laughs> because they have been <laughs> they have been so supportive and loving and just just good stuff, you know, building that's a little family. Yeah. And what about you, Corral? Oh man, what am I thankful for? Uh I am thankful for health. Um, just because this year has just been a lot, <laughs> a lot. So like, and, yeah. and I think like my niece is going to be able to to go home soon, even though 
there's still a long road ahead, but to just kind of at least see some kind of end of the tunnel. And I guess for O'Day, my niece has been in the hospital since August for yeah. um, some, some autoimmune um, issues. Um, so just to kind of hear that maybe in the next few weeks, they'll at least be able to go home because <laughs> yeah. it's literally been months. Yeah. Yeah, and just it just shows me just how important health is. Like, yeah. literally, mm-hmm. one day it can, you're fine, and the next day, no, sure you're not. You know, yeah. so just be healthy, be alive, being able to still laugh, even though it's been tough. I'm thankful for a lot of that, and I'm thankful yeah. for this food. I'm about to <laughs> smash. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But community, hopefully, you're all having a great Thanksgiving. Hopefully, you're having a great winter season, holiday season. And uh, wash your hands, wash your legs, wash your ass. COVID is still out here. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Thank you, guys. Yes. Bye.